I um, was interested in uh, knowing how I could create uh, some uh, things similar globally, uh, in reality, as opposed to in myth. <laughs> well, it's a nice idea. Um, and I'm so glad you've given me the opportunity to put it into practice. Um, I don't have an answer to that question. And I don't think Moore's Utopia offers us an answer to that question either, exactly. I mean, one of the characteristics of Utopia, and of course we should expect this, is that it's, although it is a book that arises from the expansion of global knowledge, almost by definition it can't be a book that is thinking about the predicament of a globe. That is precisely a modern, a very modern phenomenon. In the world in which Moore lived, the globe was still, as we've seen, unexplored, unknown, and still promising. Now our globe is small, dangerous, and very hard to look after. And so the problems that we face, I think, are rather different ones from those that Moore imagined himself to be facing in Utopia. Although, as I have been trying to suggest, some of the kinds of political answers that he offers in this ironic and playful book might still be worth thinking about the merits of in general. <laughs>